Hello and welcome to Architects of the West Kingdom in about three minutes. Part of our program to promote New Zealand gaming, review copy used. It is a game for one to five players. It has a solo mode. Playing time is around 60 to 90 minutes. It's a moderately complex game. It's about 1850 AD in the Carolingian Empire of Chuck the Great, also known as Charlemagne. You're all aspiring nobles looking to make a name for yourself. A town is under construction and needs buildings, workers, and most importantly, a cathedral to be built. But only one of you can become the greatest architect architect the West Kingdom has ever known. The game ends once all building slots have been used up, and this changes based on the number of players. When the last building is placed, you have one more full round, and the winner is the player with the most points. Points come from virtues, constructing buildings, building the cathedral, and a few other sources. Competitive. Each player is competing to become the greatest architect. Worker placement. Each turn you will place a worker in a location and gain the associated benefits. Player turn. A basic turn consists of you placing a single worker at a location on the board. The major point of difference between this game and other worker placement games is there is no refresh phase where you take your workers off the board. All workers stay in play until game effects move them. However, you have 20 workers. In general, the more workers you have on one spot, the more powerful the benefits are. For example, if you place one worker on the quarry, you gain one ore. But here, where you are placing a third worker to gain wood, you gain three wood. Resources are used to build things like this well. Place a worker in the build slot and pay the resources shown on the card. You then gain the benefits at the bottom of the card as well as the victory points shown on the top right. You can also build the cathedral, paying the cost shown and gaining victory points and a benefit card, but only one person can build the final step. You can gain assistance who grant buffs and new building plans at the workshop. Virtue is shown on the tracker at the left of the board. Some actions will increase your virtue, like building the cathedral, whereas others, like robbing the tax stand, will reduce it. The black market allows you to gain powerful bonuses affordably, but when the market spaces are filled, those workers are arrested, and the player with most workers in jail gains a debt. To remove workers from the board, you go to the town center and arrest them. Each worker allows you to target another player at the same location. Take these workers and place them on your player board. You can then take them to the guardhouse and sell them for silver. The guardhouse is also where you reclaim your own workers. Why would you like this game? Architects of the West Kingdom is a fascinating take on the worker placement genre and is quite unlike any other game I've played. The constant placement of workers and the capture reclaim workers mechanic encourages player interaction. If you're concerned about the red player getting five wood a turn, take an action to stop that and get rewarded for doing so. This is not a multiplayer solitaire game and you will need to keep an eye on your opponents. I like that the faction cards are double-sided, with one side being a level playing field for all players and the other side having variable player powers. The game also has a lot of variety with a larger selection of buildings and the assistance you can hire. The best thing about this game is the innovative worker placement system. No resets means very little downtime and game maintenance. However, with a dozen action spaces, some with multiple actions, there is a lot going on in this game and it might be a bit overwhelming for some players. It's also a game that benefits from a quick tempo and a player who gets analysis paralysis easily may cause the game to grind to a crawl. In many ways, this game has a similar look and feel to Raiders of the North Sea, so I recommend checking that out as well. And thematically, it shares a lot in common with Pillars of the Earth, a more traditional worker placement game. Architects of the West Kingdom, worker placement on speed. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to our channel, and check out our Patreon.